Hey guys, um, I have been working on adding mottling layers and I've been struggling to get them to actually show up to make it look like there's even some difference to it. I think I finally got something on there. I'm going to try to make it darker. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. But there is a little bit of something to it. And um, hopefully I can get it dark enough and real enough. And uh, I'm not really quite sure on the colors, but we're going to try anyway. Right now I have eyelid purple and a little bit of the marking, the um, brownish purple. Uh, marking that we've been using for like the face and the legs just a little bit of and um here go ahead and grab some more just a little bit in there I also added some black and it's fairly thick you can see all the pigmentation sort of like hanging off Okay, we're going to try it anyway. See what happens. You have to soak in that sponge real well. Mm. Mm. Try and get my glasses on. Alright. And we don't have... Ooh, that's a zoomed in thing. Hang on a second. I just want to see what I'm doing, right? That's a little better. Let's try that. There you go. Oh, you might be able to see. Oh, hopefully that is not going to be in the way too much. Excess off. It starts to dry it like a blob, and you can't tell what it's even there, then you've got it too wet. So just kind of blot it off a little. So I'm going to put this on her face, only on the orange part, and the nose, and I'm going to avoid the white. Go ahead and put it on the inside of the ears. It's perfectly fine. Back of the ears. Yes, I know it's a dark, but I'm pretty sure it should show up this time. It's kind of hard to get down in that ear. Fuzzies go lower. As you can see, I'm really taking my time. Just a tiny bit more pressure than I would normally do as mottling. I'm trying to get that color to show up. Ooh. Remember to turn your sponge this way and that. It helps um, avoid repeat patterns. Now 
Now you should be able to see something. I mean, it's not going to be super dark, unfortunately. But there should be something there. It's kind of hard to get the camera to focus. And the same with the limbs. Hopefully something. It's kind of hard to do this because the coloring is so dark. I'm trying to find something that is a little bit darker than what's already there. But subtle enough that it doesn't look like it's got some kind of a weird rash of chicken pox. You can see it's wet mm -mm. after it dries and it'll always bake lighter unfortunately you work really really hard to get it nice and dark and then after you bake it it looks lighter it's frustrating other than that I mean I'm pretty pleased with how she's going. After we do this layer, you guys can do a second one, but this is technically the second one for me, so. I'm going to repeat this process whenever the first layer is dry. I think I'm going to add some that, uh, what is that called? Uh, blue vein. So I want it like deeper pigment. I'm going to add blue vein to this mix. Hopefully that will look good. I'm not really sure since I've never done a fox before. But we'll see, right? Also need to do the lips. So 
Let's squeeze those in. Um, I think I may, before we do the uh, modeling layers, the next two modeling layers, I think I'm going to hit the lips first and then do modeling and then bake it. So I'll go ahead and do two layers of this. And then there should be another modeling video for you. And I also noticed not very many people have signed up for the kit draw, so. But I do have 208 subscribers, which is really good. Getting very close to the draw. So if you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and sign up. And that's that. And we'll come back for another video.